So let's have a look at how we are going to set the camera to enable taking photos of the iris. So when you switch on your camera, if you switch it on for the very first time, it'll ask you to set the date and the time on the back here. Um, but I've already set mine, so it's not asking for that. So let's start with the inside, like the menu settings in here. So let's press the menu button. So get all over, all, all over to the right here. So as we're going down here, the first setting here, which says image quality. Now, I recommend you put it on the very first top left one. If you want to do some more advanced photography editing afterwards, then it's worth putting it on the, the setting here that says raw. But for most people, we, we recommend this one here, which is a JPEG, but the high quality of the JPEG. So that's that. Set OK. Uh, we're not, not going to touch any of the other ones on this screen here. So you can go down to the next one. And here where it says white balance shift bracketing, if you click on set, there we go. What you want to do is click the right arrow button or where it says AF and go and set that little cursor here in the center of that right hand side here. And that's the correct color calibration required for the RS Explorer. Okay, so um, that's that. So then we'll click set, and that's saved it. Then we're going to go over to the, actually this is something you need to know, is on this very first yellow part of the menu, let me just set that straight, there we go. You've got the option to format the card. Now occasionally that's quite useful to do if you just want to clean the whole card uh, and delete everything that's on your memory card in here. So that's one thing to remember. On the next screen, where it says here LCD brightness, I recommend that you set this to six, like that. And then okay, because it enables the screen to be brighter, but it actually shows more the details and the colors a little bit more precisely as well. So, and there you go. That's all the settings you need to change in this part of the menu. So now we can click on uh, menu button to come out of here. And now we're going to start at the top and work our way down the screen for the different settings. So on the top here, we've got one over 25. And the way the camera is designed is to be able to use the camera by holding it with one hand. And with one hand, you can change all the settings, or well, the most important settings, just with one hand. And so they've designed it so that when your finger is here on the, the shutter button, right next to it, you've got this little wheel that you can turn. And if you see at the back here, uh, there we go. If you can see at the back here, around that figure here, you've got two little yellow arrows. A bit difficult to see on the, the video here, but when you turn this little wheel that's next to the shutter button here on the front, that number will change. And what you want to set it at is, now, and this is the, the, the setting for most irises, it's 1 over 60. There you go. Now, the next setting is the so the first one was the speed, like the photo, the photo speed, or the speed at which the photo is going to be taken. That's one sixtieth of a second. So the next one is the aperture, and that's how much light is going to be let through the uh, into the sensor, into the camera. So the correct setting to have it on as a standard, so this is for most blue irises, um, is 6.3. So what we're going to do is, and here again, it's designed to be held with one hand. Now with your thumb, you press the AV button here, and that enables you to change those little yellow arrows and get them to move over to the next number here, so the aperture setting. But you have to keep your finger on it. If you take your finger off, it will go back to the other one. So you keep your finger on, and then you change with the same wheel, you turn that, and there we go, 6.3. There we go. 
So the next setting here is the ISO. So usually it's on, um, on automatic. Actually, I forgot to say, you're obviously in the M, the manual mode of your camera. I forgot to say that in the beginning, but start off with the M. This has to be on M, there you go. So ISO, so you click the ISO button here. There you go. And now you want to put it on 800. So you just click over to here and then click set. Okay, so two or oh, one more to go. So the next one is where it says AWB, actually it means automatic white balance, but we don't want it to be on automatic. You want to set it here, white balance, so the button that's here on the back, you click that and you're going to go and set it on white fluorescent light. So it's the, the this one here, there, and then click set. And there you go, your camera is fully set for blue irises, uh, or most irises, but the only setting that you will want to change most, well, if you've got a very dark iris, is, well, there's two settings you could change, is this one here and this one here. So the speed and the aperture. Now, one over 60 is, I, I like keeping one over 60 at that level, but what you'd like to do is you click, you, we're going to change the 6.3 and make the aperture slightly bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that here and then just turn that back. And if the, the iris is kind of only like, it's dark, but not very, very dark, you can, well, you'll have to try every iris is slightly different, but uh, try at five. If that's not dark, in, like if it's not brightening up the, the photo enough, you can go all the way down to 2.8. Well, there you go. So, but most RS is 6.3. And there you have it.